Bonjour mes amis, je m'appelle Tito, je fais des vidéos sur les finances personnelles sur mon autre chaîne, mais sur cette chaîne, je parle d'autre chose comme aujourd'hui où je vais revoir le film Love in a Showroom. When a wacky delivery man and a manager of a furniture company get locked together in her showroom overnight, they quickly form a bond and they also have to foil the plans of some thieves who break in to rob the establishment. Love in a Showroom is a rom-com directed by Tolu Lord Tanner and is produced by Tolu Awobi and Brother Shaggy and it stars Brother Shaggy and Nancy Isime. Now, first of all, this will be a spoiler-filled review because this movie, Love in a Showroom, is currently available on Prime Video. So if you're a fan of Brother Shaggy's or Nancy Isime's and you really want to see the film, maybe stop watching this review right now and go and watch the movie and come back. But if you're indifferent, let's dive into it, beginning with Le Performance. Now, Brother Shaggy plays Femi, a dispatch rider slash business owner who goes to deliver a package to Nancy Simer's character's office in this film, and he falls asleep while using the toilet. As far as Brother Shaggy's performance goes, right, this was the most Brother Shaggy being Brother Shaggy performance I've ever seen. You guys know that Brother Shaggy, in most of the films he's in, he pretty much plays the same character we know him as in his skits on YouTube and on Instagram, or at least a derivative of that character. Well, in this film, it was as if I was just watching the same character that he plays in his skits. It's just that this character, Femi, had his shirt on and he wasn't a tout. But aside from that, same mannerisms, same way of talking, same pretty much everything. In fact, he had some of his catchphrases from his skits in this movie. He said, he shock you. And he also said, because when both say what? Honestly, this film was really meant to just cater to Brother Shaggy's audience and his like 12 million followers on Instagram. And I'm not exaggerating. The man actually has 11.9 million followers on Instagram. Nancy Sime plays Sharon, his love interest, uh, slash Sochi. She has like two names in the movie. First of all, it's always a delight to see Nancy Sime on screen. Let me just say that. <laughs> she plays um, a girl next door, a very average girl, right? At least that's what they want us or how they want us to see the character. And Nancy actually does it a bit well. I think this is the most average individual that I've seen Nancy Sime play in all the movies I've seen her in. However, Nancy Sime is a very attractive woman. She's very desirable and it, it would take a lot to make her look like an average girl or a girl next door, especially one who would be interested romantically in a character like Femi, which was played by Brother Shaggy, you know? So it really wasn't believable for me and the chemistry didn't feel like it was there because Nancy is just too hot to be playing that kind of character. Ebenezer Enna was also in the film. She played Shei, Nancy's character's boss. She doesn't have that many scenes in the film, but she did do well. Um, it wasn't anything spectacular, but on a personal note, it was nice to see Ebenezer um, Enna play a, a delightful person for a change because the only other thing I've seen Ebenezer Enna in, well, I've seen her in two things, I've seen her in The Smart Money Woman from like two years ago, but I also, I know her more from Game On, which is an Indani TV show. And on that show, her character is pissed off pretty much all the time. So it was refreshing to see her be like delightful in this movie. Finally, Ma Mauli Gavor, the handsome and talented Ma Mauli Gavor was in this film. He played um, Shay's love interest. He has only one scene in the movie and he doesn't have that many lines, but hey, he's there. Ce que j'ai aimé. I like seeing Nancy Sime on my screen. Sue me. <laughs> Ce que je n'ai pas aimé. I didn't like the poop and fart jokes in this movie. The movie just pretty much starts with Brother Shaggy needing to go and use the bathroom in, you know, Nancy's character's office. And, you know, they play the, the fart sounds and the poop sounds and all that. I'm not a fan of that because it feels like a very lazy way of doing comedy. And it's just, it's, it's very tacky. And what's more is that they continue on in this thing of, you know, Femi in the toilet for like the first 30 minutes of the movie. I did not like that. It, like I said, it feels like a lazy way of doing comedy. And I, I hate it whenever they do fart or poop jokes in films, foreign or Nollywood films, right? I also didn't like that this film took a while to build up. This is an 80 minute movie, but yet it took a while for it to become like interesting. It really did take its time. I wasn't a fan of that. I don't think this film also develops the character as well. There wasn't substance to either of the characters to make us really get to know who they were, to even care that much about them, or to believe 
the romance or the chemistry that they wanted us to believe. So I don't think the characters were well developed in this film. Finally, the story was a bit, it felt a bit, not a bit, it felt quite weak. I thought that the twist in the movie would be the robbers who come into the mo who come into the establishment rather to rob the place. But those guys, the acting from them was terrible. Their whole like subplot was weak. They, they they didn't really have that much motivation. They didn't seem smart. the The robbery was very impulsive. It wasn't something they planned. It felt like it was incredibly impulsive. They came in there un ill prepared. How they were overpowered by Brother Shaggy's character and Nancy's character in the movie was. It was ridiculous. It really was ridiculous and it made no sense. So just the story itself was incredibly weak and I wondered for a while what the point of all this was or what utility I was meant to extract from this story. Qui de vrai le voir? I think people who are huge fans of Brother Shaggy and who have an active Prime Video subscription and maybe also have 80 minutes to spare should actually see this film and they might enjoy it. In conclusion though, I think that this film was too reliant on Brother Shaggy. I think this film only exists because of Brother Shaggy. In fact, he's a co-producer of the movie and I think the makers of the film were relying heavily on his fan base to just go and see the movie because he's in the film. This film could have been better in so many ways in terms of the writing, the dialogue, character development. They could have afforded to have been more smaller characters or secondary characters in the film with their own stories or their own subplots you know to to flesh the film out a bit more but instead it felt like they expected Shaggy to carry the entire film on his back and that's a bit of a gamble if you ask me and I love Nancy Sime as an actress and just as a human being and I really enjoy Brother Shaggy as an actor as an actor and as a human being as well but the chemistry you know the romance for for two of them to be paired with each other in a, for a rom-com I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. Personally, I wasn't feeling it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the film, if you've seen it or if you plan to see it. Uh, either way, just let me know in the comment section what you thought about Love in a Showroom. Now, let me rate the movie. I gave Love in a Showroom one jollof out of five. Guys, if you enjoyed this review, please do me a favor and like it by clicking on the like button and subscribe to my channel as well by clicking on the black subscribe button. Doing those things really help me, this video, and my channel a great deal. It really does matter to us YouTubers when you engage with content by clicking on the like button. It costs you nothing. And please subscribe as well, right? On this channel, I don't just do Nollywood movie reviews. I also talk about relationships and I also have an awesome podcast called The 30 Minute Podcast. You really should check it out. To check out the podcast, my, or my previous reviews, or my previous uh, relationship videos, you can click the card in the corner of the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been awesome. I will see you in the next one. Take care.